Hi everyone, welcome back to Beyond Dairy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this pretty color or you can call as a necklace. You can use many colors for this color, but today I'm using solid pink. Today I'm using one millimeter yarn and two millimeter crochet hook. Here I started with 130 chains. Now skip four chains and into the fifth one, make a double crochet. make chain one and skip chain one space and into the second chain make a double crochet and again make chain one and make a double crochet into the second chain just complete the row like this and let's meet at the end So here I done my second row. Now from here make chain one and turn your work. Now work a single crochet into the very first chain space. Now work chain one and make four double crochets into the next chain space. So here are 4 double crochets, now work chain 1 and make a single crochet into the next chain space. Again chain 1 and work 4 double crochets into the next chain space. End of 4 double crochet, work chain 1 and make a single crochet into the next chain space. So all you have to do is just complete the row like this and let's meet at the end. So this is the, our last double crochet. Now work chain 1 and make a single crochet into that last chain space. So this is how it looks like our third row. Now you have to do just turn your work. From here we are going to work back post double crochets. So for that Insert the hook from behind from this double crochet and make a slip stitch. Now work chain 3 and this chain 3 counting as a back post double crochet. Now work another back post double crochet. Just insert the hook from like this from behind and grab the yarn, make a double crochet. We have two back post double crochet. Now work chain two and make two another back post double crochets. So now we're gonna work back post double crochets into the next space. So insert the hook from this double crochet and work a back post double crochet. Work another back post double crochet. Now work chain two and work two more back post double crochets. Now 
example, it's work back post double crochets into the next space. So two back post double crochets, chain two and two back post double crochets. Let's continue like this all the way to the end. So this is the hour for throw it looks like. So now chain one and turn your work. Now we're gonna work four treble crochets into this chain two space. So yarn over twice and work treble crochet. Work another treble crochet, yarn over twice, grab the yarn and yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two. And work two more treble crochets into the same space. Now work chain one and make a single crochet into this space. Skip two double crochets and work a single crochet here. Now chain 1 and work 4 treble crochets into that chain 2 space. chain one and skip two double crochets now work a single crochet again chain one and work four treble crochets into that chain to space and just continue this pattern all over to the end of this row So here we came to the last treble, now chain 1 and make a single crochet into this place. So now turn your work. From here we're gonna work back post treble crochet. So for that you skip into the first treble crochet, insert the hook from behind and grab the yarn and make a slip stitch. From here make 4 chains. This chain 4 is counting as a treble crochet. Now we're gonna work a back post treble crochet into the next treble crochet. Now work chain 2 and work 2 more treble crochets. This row is same as fourth row. So continue work as two back post double crochets and chain two and two back post double crochets.
So here we done our sixth row. Now chain one and turn your work. In this row, we're going to increase. So we're going to work six treble crochets in each of these two chain spaces. So here we done our last six triple crochet. Now chain one and make a single crochet into that space. In this row, we're gonna work back post treble crochet. For that, make a slip stitch into the very first treble crochet. From here, make chain four. This chain for counting as our first back post treble crochet. Now work two more back post treble crochets. For total, we have three back post treble crochets. So here our third treble crochet. Now work chain two and work three more back post treble crochets to the rest. So now we're going to work three more back post treble crochets into the next space. Now chain 2 and work 3 more back post treble crochets. Just continue work 3 back post treble crochets, chain 2 and 3 back post treble crochets all over to the end. So from here, we're going to continue work this 7th row and 8th row one more time. So here done my 9th and 10th row, same as previous row. So total I have 4 sets. So to give a good finishing, I'm going to do a one more scallop row. For that, chain 1 and turn your work. Now work 4 treble crochets into that chain 2 space. Now 
So here my fourth one. From here work chain 3. Now make a slip stitch into the top of treble crochet like this. Insert the hook from these two loops and grab the yarn. Now make a slip stitch. From here work 3 more travels into the same space. Here I have total 7 treble crochets. Now chain 1 and skip 3 treble crochets and make a single crochet. Again work chain 1 and make 4 treble crochets into that chain 2 space. Now work chain 3 and make slip stitch into the top of that treble crochet. From here continue work 3 more treble crochets into the same space. All you have to do is just continue this same pattern all over to the end. So here we reach to the end of this row. Now work chain 1 and make a single crochet into the last space. Now work chain 1 and cut off the yarn. So here we done our color. As I told you, you can use many shades for this color and you can do for any sizes. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon with another video. Until that, take care.